Hello folks, it's Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts. I'm here to answer the question, how do I dry out my wet ceilings from a flood? Well, I want to go ahead and give you some details, but before we go on to how to perform this, I want to show you some of the most important pieces of equipment that you're going to need. And right here next to me is a dehumidifier. Dehumidifier is probably one of the most important pieces to dry down your ceiling. The reason why is because this is the only piece of equipment that's going to extract all the moisture from the air as well as your drywall, wood, any type of material, even your carpet, it's gonna pull that moisture out. So dehumidifier is super, super important. The next piece of equipment that we love using is an air scrubber. The reason why an air scrubber is, uh, is a good piece of equipment is that when you're opening up the hole, we're gonna use a piece of plastic and funnel that air inside that. If there's any dust or particles that are inside that ceiling, this is gonna help capture that because this is HEPA 500 filtration. Uh, the other uh, material that you're gonna need is a piece of six mil plastic. This is uh, very, very strong, so it's gonna withstand the amount of air that's coming out of this, and you'll see it in the, in the video here we're about to show you. Um, once this gets all built, after about three days of dry time, we're, we come back in and we utilize our fogger and our sanitization. And uh, what that does is it's gonna inject all of this mist inside the ceiling chase, basically sanitize, prevent any type of mold, uh, so it's a great way to get in all those nooks and crannies that you can't get through that small hole that we're about to show you when you, when you dry down. Um, the other thing to consider as well when you're doing this is this video that we're about to show you is really only meant for a fresh water leak. In other words, if you've got a hot water pipe or a cold water line that's leaking and it's saturated through the ceiling, this is a perfect application. If it's sewage, meaning a toilet overflowing with urine and defecation and it saturates through the ceiling, this is not the application. So I just wanna make sure we get very, very clear on that. Um, let's go ahead now and take you to an actual job of ours and showing you the process in which we do it to dry it down.
as you saw in the video, we used the air scrubber with the tube in the air and the dehumidifier, we did the fogging. So after three days, you might want to get yourself a moisture meter. This is about $20. It, that beeping sound is an indication that there's still uh, moisture. When you don't hear the beeping sound, obviously you're completely dry. So it's a really good way to confirm 100% if after three days you go in and you poke the drywall or the wood, if you're not getting that beeping sound, that means you're 100% dry. Well folks, hopefully this helped give you the inside of how to dry down those ceilings. Hopefully this helped and always, and always thanks for watching.